Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tony and today I'm going to talk about a charger or chargers for the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So supposedly this phone can support 45 watts of charging power. However, it's more of a gimmick in my honest opinion. So over here I have a big Samsung 100 watt charger that I use for my laptop. And yes, it is 100 watts, not 45 watts. But the phone will determine how many watts it can actually put out and charge with. So 100 watts and I also have a USB-C charging cable with the little uh, power LCD screen so I can know um, how much power I'm putting out. So I'm going go to go ahead and plug in my um, Samsung charger to the outlet over here. All right. So right now my phone is at roughly um, 19% so I'm going to plug it in and show you guys um, how fast it can charge Samsung super fast 2.0 19% an hour and to fully charge so you can see it's gonna go up to about 45 um, watts of charging power when the battery is less than 19% however once the battery goes past 20%, 20, 21%, uh, the power, uh, charging power does drop a little bit. So we're just gonna wait and just let it sit here right now. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a closer shot. Just kind of pan down so you guys can see uh, the power meeting. Um, so one of the things is that, you know, if you're looking to buy a charger because you don't have one to charge faster, I would just say if you already have a 25 watt charger, stick with that or a 30 watt charger, just stick with that. There's really no need to spend more money to get the Samsung 45 watt charger unless you need to charge other devices that can handle a higher, you know, wattage. But you can see once it goes past 22%, 20, what, I would say once it goes past 20%, it drops down to about 34, 35 watts. So you know, you're not going to really charge any quicker. From my experience with owning this phone for about two weeks now, I use my Samsung 100 watt charger for my laptop with this phone and also use um, the 25 watt super fast charger that I got with my Note 20 Ultra. And the charging speed difference is not that dramatic. You're only looking at about 10, 15 minutes um, of faster charging at 45 watts. You can see, you can see once it goes past 20%, you're down to 34, 34 watts. So why spend more money to get 45 watts when it's not true 45 watts all the way into the battery is near charge? So you're only looking at a couple minutes of difference. And to me, that's not really worth it unless you need it for another device, you know. Um, so you can see it right there, 24%. I'm gonna just show you guys right here. I'm gonna go into the screen. I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna go into um, the charging um, menu right here. So charge, so you guys can see the battery set up. Um, 57 minutes into the battery's fully charged, um, charging at about 34 watts. Uh, the super fast charger 2.0 is connected, so we're not really seeing much of a difference right there. Um, so for another test, I'm gonna show you guys, you know, I have another cable here, which is my uh, Samsung 25 watt, um, USB power brick. I'm gonna just plug it in so you guys can see um, the difference in the charging speed. Um, I don't have the meter connected to here but you can see to get full charge an hour and two minutes. So for another test I'm just going to disconnect this cable. I'm going to switch some cables around. Um, so back to this 100 watt charger which is supposedly 45 watts. Plug it in Okay, so <clears throat> charging at about 34, 35 watts, 57 minutes at 20% um, battery right now. So I'm going to change the cable, same cable right here. I'm going to switch it over to my 25 watt setup. So you guys can see down here. I'm at 19, 23, and then 25 watts right there. And then the charging time, you can see super fast, not the super fast 2.0, but it's one hour, one minute. So we're not really seeing that much 
of a difference in the charging speed to be honest so save your money don't waste money to buy a faster charger just to charge another five minutes quicker right because the way samsung does it they don't unlike other phones and other devices when the battery is low it will go to 45 watts once it goes past 20 21 percent battery it slows down and then once it goes past another certain voltage maybe like 50 percent the charging speed slows down even more so that's just how samsung products work we're not going to get 30 minutes of charging but yeah that's the video i wanted to make um hopefully it makes sense if you guys are interested so yeah thanks for watching and um yeah see you guys later